So, imagine my surprise. I'm just sat here, you know, enjoying, relaxing, watching YouTube. And uh, I get my doorbell rings. And it's like, oh, what's going on here? So, uh, I go answer the door with Luna. Uh, who's back there. Um, and it's a delivery with a, you know, a big cardboard box. And to my surprise... Uh, imagine my surprise when it is. Oh, bloody hell, is heavy. Oh, this! My uh, collector's edition of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game from Limited Run Games. Now, I ordered this months and months and months ago. Um, because, like, I, um, you know, the game was announced and, I, and uh, d you know, they were doing it. A physical edition. I was like, well, I've never played the game before, so, um, or seen the show, so I might as well, um, order this. This was actually quite expensive. I believe it was like 200 quid as well. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Um, and like I said, I've not seen, I believe it was a show as well as a game, but I've, ne I've not seen either, so. Oh, I know a little bit, so I know. That's Scott Pilgrim. That's his girlfriend. Yeah, that's very nice. Um, and we've got what have we got here? Uh, I think this is like an advertisement for something, maybe. Oh, yeah, like an advertisement for like all the different limited one games. Um, and there's also this. You mean the world to us. We appreciate your support and uh, would like to reward your patience. Here's a code for five other dollars off a future purchase at limited one games. Yay, five dollars. So that's like, what? Three pounds something odd, probably. Um, but yeah. Uh, so this kept on getting delayed time and time and time again. Um, and it and it's not and I don't think it was even mostly due uh, uh mostly COVID due because it's like. I believe I ordered this before COVID even came out. I believe it got delayed before COVID came out and then it got delayed again, again because of COVID, COVID as well, apparently. So yeah, I've, I ordered this a long time ago. Uh, I'll actually check on my phone real quick, see if it'll tell me when I actually ordered this. Um, so I go to Google. Oh, the limited one games placed on January eighteenth, twenty twenty one. Okay, so COVID was a thing when I did uh, um, place the order, so that's one of the reasons why it's been delayed. But yeah, twenty twenty one is now twenty twenty two, so it's been over a year del amount worth of delays here. But it is looking nice so far. Whoop. So, we take that off. Remove battery insulation, uh, ins insulating pull tab. Boop. Don't know why that's a thing. If you know why they have battery insulating pull tabs in on the stuff, feel free to comment down the section in the comment section below. Uh, this is the world of the game complete edition. All right, let's and yeah, I'll show this off real quick. It is oh, it is a heavy boy? Uh, you got the logo there. You got Ubisoft, Universal, Unlimited One Games logos on the back. 
Game Software 2021 Ubisoft Entertainment to all rights reserved. Ubisoft and Ubisoft uh, logo are registered or registered uh, trademarks of Ubisoft Entertainment in the US and all other countries uh, motion pictures and certain game elements. 2010 to 2021 Universal City Studios LLC all rights reserved Scott Pilgrim vs. The World graphic novel and uh, related characters. T TM and uh, Copyright 2010, Brian Lee O'Malley. Let's flick them up. Uh, if I pull this back far enough, they have like the band, like the main characters band here. That is cool. Don't know if you can hear it. Uh, that is music from the game itself. That is really cool. Oh. Right. I'm going to have to be really careful with this because it is, like I said, it's heavy. And I've only got like one. I've got one hand to balance it on one hand. And I've got my right hand to do this. Uh, uh, that's just about... Battery installation, I'll probably want to keep that. Oh. So, in here, we have a pair of drumsticks with the. Ah, you're not really going to be able to see that because my camera's a piece of shit. But it's got like the carrot. Uh, so that's got Scott Pilgrim car uh, carved into it, playing the guitar, I believe. On this one, we have I think it's someone else playing the drums. It's got them. So let's see. Uh, let's have a look at this one first. So we have Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game complete edition that behind the pixels. Oh, I don't have a. <laughs> Oh, uh, don't please don't fall off. I want to have a look at this. So this will be like a um, behind the scenes style kind of thing. Yeah, again, Universal, Ubisoft, Limited Run, and Prima Games. So. Uh, on the inside, you have a bunch of character sprites with Scott Pilgrim there in color. Some coins. Oh, that's cool. That is some cool artwork there. Uh, the parrot seat in the door. Uh, the contents, uh, there's Scott Pilgrim. Pilgrim versus his origins, an interview with Brian Lee O'Malley on page three, concept art gallery on page ten, another writer and ode to Scott Pilgrim's. Uh, there's the iconic first level on the, on page twenty two. There's a strategy guide on page twenty six. Choose your sex, Bob Omb, on page thirty two. The Basics of Combat on page 40, A Walkthrough on page 46, Extra Stuff on page 82, Bonus Modes on page 84, Shopping Guide on page 88, Brawl for Love, How Scott Pilgrim Revisit Revitalized, A Genre Through the Power of Love on page 96, Subspace on page 104, In Indica on page 106. So, probably not going to go through um, all of this. Uh, you, I'm just going to give it, have a, let you have a quick look. But I really do want to move on. I don't want to read this book for hours uh, in the video. You've also got some stickers here. Pretty cool. 
stickers are always nice. We've got see the enhanced full digital guide only at primagames.com. That they put an advertisement. In. There's not even a code on it. It's just it's just an advertisement. But why? Right, I'll be back in a moment. I'm gonna go. I gotta stop the parrot from destroying the door. Okay, I gave him some food, so that should hopefully keep him happy. All right. Oh, there's a couple of things in here. We have a Scott Pil Pilgrim vs. World Complete Edition Tornto pin. Which is really good. That, is, that, that actually looks really cool. I like that. Um, there's Gideon Graves Power. Just look at him. Where are these? What is this? Let's open this up, shall we? And put that there. Ah, uh, so this is like character cards. So we got uh, Gideon Graves. Got Kyle and Ken. Roxy Writer. Todd Ingram. And they have little subtitles. Uh, just look at him. Uh, oh yeah, the, it's the powers. So powers, just look at him. Powers being a Japanese. Uh, gender, female. Dating. Uh, N Envy Adams cheating on her too. There's a scumbag. There's Lucas Lee Powers. Look at look him up on the web. I'm probably not going to do that on the on in the video. Then we've got Matthew Patel Powers Mystical. And yeah, that's all of them. So basically, it's like some trading cards. Oh, and these are cool. We got um, guitar picks. Now, um, hold on, I'll be right back uh, in a moment. So when I was younger, I used to take guitar lessons. So don't expect you to be, be able to play anything, though. I've not touched this guitar in ages, and I never even really properly learned it. I just... And if you can say, yeah, you get a few of these in here. And yeah, you can see how, how little I've used this because it's so dusty. But, and it's probably out of tune. Yeah, seems pretty good. Seems decent to me. Um, again, uh, I've not pl I've not played a guitar in years. I do not ha know how to play it, so I'm I'm unfortunately not going to be able to play you anything. Maybe uh, one day I'll actually learn to play a guitar. Oh, and it's falling over. It's fine. It fell on a soft thing. Yeah, I'm just going to stick that back in there with the others. Yeah, they seem like they are pretty decent picks. Um, they are a little bit thinner than uh, I remember the picks using when I was younger in school. And I didn't choose to learn uh, the guitar. It was like a mandatory thing that school made you do. Oh. And there's a uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World original video game soundtrack on cassette tape. I do not have a cassette tape player. I should get one so I could listen to this. I should get a Walk Boy. Oh, that would be cool. So retro. Oh, I do. I do love um, like 80s stuff. Um, 
I think 80s is probably my favorite decade. So let me just um, put them back one by one. And there and there. And then that on top. So now we get to the main event. Um, I'm just going to put that down there. Right, let's get that all closed up. Oh, that down there. So, the game case. You have uh, Scott's girlfriend on the front there. that off oh and you also have, let's have a look at the back defeat the league of evil X's. rediscover the uh, beloved 2d arcade style beat-em-up game uh, inspired uh, by the iconic comic book series and movie oh, i thought that was a movie uh play as your favorite character four player cup secret shops and hidden levels oh this is cool Oh, I love this. Right, so. This is even a bit before my time, but if you're too young to know about this, um, this is uh, uh, basically in the style of an old Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive cartridge case, which were made out of plastic and were probably actually a little bit less bulky than this. Uh, I've not owned one. Oh, I actually think I do own one. Hold on. And uh, not in there. Uh, not in there. Uh, hmm. Okay, so if I do, I think I do own some, but I don't know where their location is at this point in time. Um, but yeah. Uh, again, you have beautiful artwork on it uh this you can really tell that whoever made this does have a passion for like retro uh stuff because you know they put a lot of effort into this um scott pilgrim is back rediscover the discover the beloved 2d arcade tell and we'll put game inspired by the iconic comic book series and movie fight as your favorite uh, favorite character, team up with your friends, and defeat the League of Evil Exes. Yeah, very nice artwork. Right, let's crack this open if I can. Jesus. There we go. There's even more stuff in here! Right, the, the game, an empty box, and then, ah, this plastic Things to move. Then we've got the original soundtrack, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World of the Video Game on CD. Uh, Scott Pilgrim and the... Uh, if I had to criticize this right now, I'd have to... Uh, I've just seen the box art. Um, I would say that I would have had the cassette tape in here and the CD in there. Um, just because it makes more sense for the cassette tape to be in the uh, Sega Mega Drive slash Master System box because that, that, that released about in the 80s when cassette tapes were a big thing, but you know, that's a little nitpick. We've got more stickers. Nice. Oh, and one of my favorite things that you get it with these um, limited one games is that you always I don't know if you always but you get posters and there can be some really cool posters yeah, that's 
that's cool. I thought, oh. So I'm guessing this is like the level select, but it, they've put a lot of detail into this level select. That is really nice. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, I remember when I got the ukulele limited one game, this, uh, um, uh, poster, uh, the limited ukulele limited one from limited one games. It came with a poster with all the characters on it, and uh, I've actually got that hung up. Uh, I got that framed, and it's now hung up in my hallway. Yeah, uh, that back in there. Yeah, so while I was not, you know, born yet in the 80s, I do have a uh, love for, like, 80s stuff. I like retro kind of stuff. Close that up. Oh, and... So here, we've got the game, which is clearly a parody on the Sonic uh, cover. So it's just like... Um, it's the Sonic pose from Sonic Adventure 2 on the Sonic uh, Mania box art. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, the complete edition from Limited Run Games. Uh, same as the back of the other box. I'm willing to bet there's more stuff in here because it feels a little bit heavy. Open it up. Oh, yeah, more stuff. We've got a uh, fake like um, plane ticket. No, no, not plane concert ticket. I think. Yeah, Leo's place got P. Turn stills, but so you got like all the different band names here. Again, um, I'm I don't really know the comic books or the movie or the video game, so. Uh, there's a bunch of references that are probably going over my head here, so if you'd like to um, point out every reference with a time code, uh, I'll pin that to comment to the uh, top of the in the comment section. Uh, and of course, you have the ticket here. And what do we have here? We have a little oh, it's oh, I love this. Thing. It's a manual. They put a manual in it! Oh, it makes me so happy. Oh, I love it. I love it when they put manuals in here. So it's like, how to play, status, fighting techniques, special techniques, the characters, the enemies, co-op actions, level up, shopping, character attributes, extra game modes, world map. Oh, yeah, so it's just like, oh, I love this. Oh, it's well, it's so well done. Oh. This is cool. I don't even need to play the games to know how cool this is. I just love the fact that they put a um, manual in here. Let's take a, take a look at the inside of the case, because the inside of the case actually offers something uh, unique. Ah! So, yeah, what we have here, oh, this is cool. So, you can take it out, and you can swap it around. So you have two different box arts. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Um, so yeah. Let's, let, uh, let's swap them around. Why not? Right, how difficult is this going to be? Uh, I think it would probably be best if I just try to fold it over a little bit. I put it in. Oh, and I'm 
probably want to flatten that out. There we go. Not too difficult. And now you have a different box art. Oh, I like that. Like, I don't dislike the um, this box art. You know, that's probably like Sonic, but this one is just better. I like this one much more because it's 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 a, it's its own unique thing. Well, probably not like super unique because, um, you know, uh, there's probably like other uh, box art that do something like it, but it is. Cool. I do like, oh, this is brilliant. And of course, you have the game, and that is everything, right? You do. Oh, I've got to put the uh, drumsticks back in. But yeah, you do get a lot of stuff with this, and it is very detailed. Um, again, there's probably like a bunch of um, references that I am missing here because again, I've not seen the comic books, I've not seen the movie, I've not seen the video game. Um, so I'll probably do a live stream where I do my in initial impressions of the video game, um, probably tomorrow. Um, so yeah, definitely stick around if you want to see that. Um, but this is just like full of lots of cool stuff, even without uh, knowing the, you know, everything about the games and the game and the comic books and the movie. Um, now, would I say is this worth two hundred quid? So, yeah, I, honestly, uh, there is a lot of stuff in here. A lot of it is very high quality, um, and I love this. Um, if I had what if I had one complaint, I think it would, uh, except for the like, um, the uh, cassette tape being in here when and this and the uh, CD being in here when, in my opinion, should be the, the other way around. Well, then I, I honestly don't think I have any real complaints like they've just put a lot of like detail and a lot of quality into uh, this is just like um i can't really complain uh except for like the fact that it took a year to get here um Well, that wasn't so much. Um, included in that wasn't included in the price. I was just something that unfortunately happened. But yeah, if you're a Scott Pilgrim vs. the World fan, I would definitely recommend picking this up. It is. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't need to know all the references and everything to know that this is full of just like really cool stuff. Like there's just so much in here and it is brilliant. So yeah, um, yeah, like I said, I will probably live stream this um, when I uh, tomorrow. Um, Tomorrow. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that, definitely, you know, subscribe, ring that bell, all that's heavy. Um, and um, if you want to make sure you get notified, I, uh, there's a Discord link in the description that you can click to uh, join my Discord, where I notify people on like updates and when I'm going live and everything. So yeah. Uh, Join the Discord if you want to make sure you get notified because YouTube isn't the best at notifying people, even if you ring the bell. But do make sure to uh, subscribe and ring that bell. Um, and yeah. Oh, mm. excuse me. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in my next video or live stream or whatever I decide to do. 
and bye-bye.